Hey guys, it's Sienna Sinclair here, your naughty expert, and on today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to get curves the natural way. I've teamed up with my personal trainer, Sean Phillips of Perfect Body Inc. We've been working together since last year, and I came to him because I was in a bit of a dilemma, a fitness health dilemma. I've always been working out and you know thought I was doing the best that I could do to keep myself healthy and in shape, but age, catches up on you quickly. <laughs> and last year I started noticing some things with aging that I wasn't so happy with, such as, you know, dimpling on my skin. I was getting, you know, I had a little, just a tiny little belly, but again, little dimples on the belly, some cellulite. And the thing was, is I was not gonna let age deter me. I'm not gonna be one of those people where I'm like, you know what, I'm getting older, so that's the reason why, so it's okay that I'm getting bigger or you know, I'm starting to sag or whatever. No, I'm not gonna allow that, <laughs> and you don't have to. I was already working out and you know, trying to eat as healthy as I could, but like I said, things just weren't working out and it was time for a change, and that's where I came across Sean, and I signed up with hesitation, of course, because I never really trust trainers, because <laughs> I've had them in the past and they didn't work out, but he focused on holistic, which I, that's how I've been living my life, and nutrition and fitness. I definitely believe that if you're gonna get a trainer, you need to get one that also focuses on nutrition because the thing about it is if you're just working out and your trainer is doing nothing, he's not talking to you at all about your nutrition or what you need to be eating or what you're doing wrong, guess what? You might as well just quit wasting your time because 80% is nutrition. You can work out as much as you want, but if you go home and eat pizza, eat processed food, I mean, you're just wasting your time. Of course, you're gonna see a little results, but if you get to the point where I am where you maybe need to just lose five pounds and tone up, you're not gonna really see anything. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to get curves naturally because he is all about sculpting and shaping your body. He literally takes you, looks at you, and goes, okay, for each body type. So for me, he was like, I just wanna bring you in a little bit and get your booty a little rounder. And that's how we created my curves. So I'm gonna give you tips. Um, this can be for anybody. Tip one is too much cardio. And you're thinking, how is too much cardio gonna affect me and my curves? Well, if you want a curvy body, I mean the hourglass figure. If you want a more curvy body, then you need to stop doing so much cardio because you're burning a lot of calories and all of a sudden you're just a stick figure. Like, look at people who run, look at women who are always on the cardio machines at the gym, you know who I'm talking about. A lot of women, they go to the gym and the men know where to find them. The men know that they're at the workout classes, so they just stand there and watch them, watch their little booty shake. But you're either in a workout class or you're on the cardio machine. You're not doing any weights, I'll come to that in a minute, but you're not doing any weights, you're just working out. You're working out for an hour, two hours, and you're working out too hard. There is a difference between, you know, when you do cardio to do just the right amount and stay within your fat burning range, which I'll talk about soon too. So quit doing so much cardio. Not only are you losing a lot of weight, but you're also losing muscles. And guess what muscles do? Muscles shape you. They give you that nice booty and those nice defined arms. So stop it. Do 30 minutes of cardio, stay within your fat burning zone four days a week and I promise you, you'll start seeing more curves on your body. Tip two, if you want more curves, you gotta eat more calories. You have to eat more food, and I don't mean just any type of food. What you're doing is not only are you working out too much because you wanna lose weight, but you're skimping out on your food. You're lowering your calories, you're working out too much, and all of a sudden your body is going into starvation mode. Do you know what happens when your body goes into starvation mode? It's not kind. When your body goes into starvation mode, it doesn't know when its next meal is. It has no idea. It thinks you're starving itself. So it takes all the food, every food, every nutrition, every mineral, every vitamin that you put into your body, and it stores it as fat. So that stomach that you're trying to get rid of are these arms that you've been trying to lose fat on, guess what? Your body doesn't care. Your body doesn't tell you where the fat's going. It just goes somewhere. <laughs> All of a sudden, you've got a chin. You've got you know, extra fat on your arms. You've got a little belly. So if you want to create curves, you need to stop working out so much. Too much cardio makes you lose too much weight and lose muscles. Skimping on your calories. 
and I know this is crazy, I know this goes against everything you believe in, <laughs> the more you work out, the more calories you need. You have to feed your body. You have to take care of it and feed it. And I'm not just talking about any calories. For example, let's say I tell you, you need 1,800 calories a day. To most women, that's a lot. You're like, whoa, I'm getting 12 to 1,400 calories. Honey, that is too low for you. If you're someone who just sits on a couch all day and does nothing, 1,400 calories is enough. Don't forget that your body is burning calories just when you sit. You're burning calories if all you do is sleep and sit all day. <laughs> so if I say you need 1,800 calories a day, that does not mean go to McDonald's drive through and get 1,800 calories worth of food. That is not what I'm talking about. You need 1,800 calories of healthy food. When you start eating healthy, you eat a lot more food, trust me. I have five meals a day and I can barely, I have to like force myself to eat because it's just so much food for me. But I'm eating healthy and that's what's helping me to create the curves that I want, to lose the extra fat that I want, and to get the booty that I want. If you want to build muscle, you have to feed your body. You have to give it protein. Protein helps your muscles to grow. Tip three. <laughs> Tip three is weight training. And I don't just mean any weight training, but you need to lift heavy. I know, again, that's against everything that you believe in. You think that if you lift heavy, you're gonna look like those bodybuilders that you see on TV or at the gym. Guess what? Here's a news flash. You are not gonna look like those bodybuilders. They are doing a totally different type of workout than you're, than you're doing and eating totally different. They're there all day. <laughs> You're not gonna look like them. That was my problem in the past. I was trying to like gain muscle, tone up, and lose weight, but the thing was is I wasn't lifting heavy. I was lifting, let's say I was doing biceps. The heaviest was 15 pounds, or if I was doing you know, maybe a chest press, maybe 10 pounds. The thing is is that women lift very light. Do you know what I'm up to now for my, when I do squats and my arms? I'm up to 30 pounds. I'm lifting 30 pound weights right now. Whenever I bench squat, whenever the thing where you lean back and you press your legs forward, I'm up to 200 pounds. And guess what? My arms are skinny. They've gotten skinnier from lifting heavier. Because guess what happens? You have fat. Fat takes up a lot of room on your body. So let's say I had fat right here. It would take up a lot more room. Muscle takes up very little room. So when you get rid of fat, and replace it with muscle by lifting heavy, guess what you get? You get more defined and you get skinnier, <laughs> but you also get curves. So don't be afraid to lift heavy because by lifting little weights and doing higher reps, that is doing absolutely nothing for you. For me, my legs look great. They haven't gotten bigger, they've gotten skinnier. Since I worked out with my trainer, I came with a waistline of 27 inches and my belly fat was 32 inches. In the time that I worked out with him, I lost two inches around my waist, so I'm now a 25 inch waist, and my belly has gone from a 32 to a 29 inches. I still have more to lose, I have a little bit of fat left. I definitely think I can lose about two more inches just around my belly. Um, my waist, no big deal, you know, I'm happy with it. I could go to 24 if I wanted to, but I'm happy. And the only way that you're gonna get that booty that you want, that booty-licious little, little hump right there, is by lifting heavy, the only way. For tip number four, it's all about taking your waist in and creating a V-shape. So in order to do that, we're taking all the tips and combining them, you have to quit doing so, so much cardio, you have to up your calories, and you have to lift heavy. So all the things I just talked about, are gonna help you to create this hourglass shape. So a way to get that V shape is to do back exercises in any type of rowing machine. For my trainer, we don't focus on biceps or triceps. We focus mostly on back and rowing exercises. The reason why is that you're not trying to get these big biceps. Whenever we do any type of rowing or chest presses, it's working out your biceps and your triceps already. So there's really no need to do them. So that's why I don't do them. The thing to remember is to work out smarter, not harder. A lot of us work out way too much and we actually need to cut it down. So two ways to work out smarter when it comes to cardio, because I know I talked about doing too much cardio, you really only need to do 30 minutes of cardio, 30 to 60 minutes if you really want to. 
But when you do your 30 minutes of cardio, you want to stay in your fat burning zone. The reason why is because this is where you burn fat. If you go out of it, you're not, you're actually just wasting your time. Don't even bother. So the way to stay within your fat burning zone is to take 180, subtract it by your age. So for me, I'm 39, so that would make it 141. That's the top heart rate that you want to not go over. So you, I don't want to go over 141. And then you take 141 minus it by 20, and I get 121, and that's where I want to be over. So I want to be in between 121 and 141 when I'm working out. Now at first, when you do this, you're going to think, oh my gosh, this is so simple. I don't really feel like I'm working out, but that's the thing about it. It's about working out smarter, not harder. Another way to work out smarter when it comes to cardio are interval training. What I mean by this, these are my favorite. I love this because the thing about interval training is that after you're done working out, and it's only 20 minutes, that's what I love about it too, <laughs> is after you're done working out, you're still burning so many calories throughout the day for like 24 hours because your heart rate's going up and you're burning a lot of fat. So for interval training, what you want to do, it's only 20 minutes. You do not want to do too much because it puts a lot of stress on your body and you do not want to put stress on your body because that can make you store fat. So <laughs> there's a whole, a lot of stuff I could talk about, but I'm only talking about getting curves right now. For interval training, let's take the um, elliptical machine for example. So you get on it, you warm up with six minutes. You're doing it, staying within your heart rate zone. Get a little heart, heart rate monitor. The best ones are the ones that go underneath your chest and you have a watch, those are the most accurate. You could try Fitbit, but those are not very, those are not as accurate as the heart rate monitor around your chest. Also, they have some on the workout machines, but again, they're not as accurate and you really need to be accurate when it comes to staying within your fat burning zone. So you're on the elliptical and you're doing, you know, six minute warm up, and you're like, okay, I'm in with my heart rate zone. Okay, six minute comes up, up it, you know, go to um, level four or level six and just start going really fast. And this time you're not, after you hit um, minute six, you're no longer worried about your heart rate zone. Do not try to stay in it, because you're not. What you want to do is you want to try to get your heart rate up as much as you can, maybe like 170, 180. You want to get it high. Again, it depends on your age and you know how high you can get it. So you want to go for 30 seconds, really fast. And you want to challenge yourself for every 30 seconds. You know, look at the thing that says, you know, um, maybe how fast you're going. I, I can't remember, but it could say like 12 miles an hour or something. You know, you know, one one 30 seconds you're going for 11 miles an hour. The next 30 seconds you want to go for 12 miles an hour, and you just want to keep increasing it. And you also want to increase your levels. You want to challenge yourself because you can get stuck doing the same intervals every time and not really getting a benefit from it. You will at first, but then your body will get used to it. So you want to keep challenging yourself. So you got your six minutes, really fast, 30 seconds. Bring it back down, your level, um, your stepping level, maybe from a, a six to a two. And then this is where you go really slow. You want to, for a minute and a half, you go slow. You want to bring your heart rate back down. Bring it down. Your heart rate cannot stay up that high too long. It's not good for you. Uh, it puts a lot of stress in your body. So bring your heart rate down. Just, you know, it's really slow. Trust me. <laughs> You're thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go slow for a minute and a half. No. You're a minute and a half you're catching your breath <laughs> and you're thinking, oh crap, here comes the next 30 seconds. Oh crap. And the more you do it, oh my gosh, it's hard to get your heart rate down. But the thing about it is it's 20 minutes. It goes by so fast. So you're at six minutes, 30 seconds. A minute and a half, slow. Next 30 seconds. <laughs> a minute and a half, slow. Next 30 seconds and blah, blah, blah until you get to um, 18 minutes and then you do your 30 seconds and then you have a minute and a half cool down and then you're at 20. So those are interval trainings. There's a little bit more explaining I know, but they're actually my favorite because they're 20 minutes. They get your heart rate going up and you have lots of energy afterwards. That's why they're my favorites. Um, but I also like to mix them in with the 30 minute ones too because that's when I can actually like do some reading on the treadmill or the elliptical. <laughs> it's my lazy workout. but. Funny thing about it is it feels lazy, but it's not. That's the brilliantness of staying within your um, fat burning zone. I hope you've enjoyed my tips on how to get curves naturally. Stay tuned for more fitness tips as 
The thing is, is I'm learning too. I'm learning a whole new way to train my body and take care of it when it comes to aging, staying healthy, and being more holistic. So stay tuned for more tips. I'm Cena Sinclair, your naughty expert. Bye guys.